Hi everyone, I'm Steve here again. Uh, we've got a, our favorite guest back, at least one of mine, um, certified health um, consultant, Michelle Powers. Thanks for being with us, Michelle. Hey, I'm glad to be back again. This is fun. Okay, so we're going to talk about, and I don't know exactly everything you're going to say, but we're going to talk about five benefits of chia seeds. I use chia seeds. I know why I use them, but um, I really love what you're doing in your business and, and, and how you're guiding and directing people on how to be healthier. So I want to ask you first, and we'll just go one through five. And then um, if you got a bonus, I'd love to hear a bonus. So stay tuned till the end if you want to hear a bonus benefit for chia seeds. So what would you say, what's, what's the first thing that you would say or comes to mind about chia seeds, first benefit? Well, I'd say the first benefit is, uh, okay, we're going to give the component parts first as the, as the five benefits. So they're very high in protein. When you think of that tiny little chia seed, in one ounce of chia seed, you get five grams. So that's pretty darn good, you know, because that's little gives you a lot. Good bang for the buck there. That'd be my first one. Yeah, that's yeah, true. That's there is a lot of protein in a chia seed. And complete uh, aminos, you know, a complete set of aminos, which is rare. Yeah. Are all the essential amino acids in chia seeds? Yeah. In fact, the history wow. of that is, you know, um, I, I don't know where it actually originated the use of them, but I know that the Mayan civilizations and the Aztec civilizations they would give just a little bit of chia seed to the runners, you know, because that's how they communicated and that and water. And they just marathoned. Right. It's just incredibly concentrated, powerful. Source oh, I didn't know. I still, feel, I still pop a couple of amino acid capsules with it just. To well, yeah, more. I do, too. Yeah. You got to eat some chia to do that. Yeah. So what's number two? Number two benefit of chia seeds. I would say. um it's got five times more fiber than oatmeal, you know, per amount. That's pretty amazing because some people don't like oatmeal or I like user-friendly things. Chia seeds, super user-friendly. So that'd be benefit number two is the fiber content. Yes. And when I want to get my fiber really high, I make this little fiber drink and I use chia seeds and I mix them in like some macadamia nut milk or something and it's loaded with fiber, no doubt. Yeah, about it. those famous that, chia seed puddings, right? <laughs> that, that, yeah, my wife makes those. And uh, that's that's why I use them. I figure, okay, I want to really focus on my fiber, then I'll, I'll, I'll use those a lot. So how about number three, third benefit? Okay, three would be, in my mind, um, it's got, okay, I'm always doing a comparison here, but it's got, it's it's very high in antioxidants and everybody needs those, right? And it's higher than blueberries. So just think about it. You could do your chia seed pudding. You wouldn't even need to put your blueberries in there because it's got it's got it covered. So that would be number three. Okay. Now, before I ask you about number four, I'm curious, how do you eat these chia seeds? Because I know when I mix them into a drink, it gets really thick. Like yeah. that pudding. So how do you how do you eat them? Well, you know that that's a great question for many reasons. One is you do have to actually be careful because it's such a expanding food. The gelatinous nature of it really, you know, that's why it's great in fiber. But also, you need to make sure you're hydrating. You need to make sure you're allowing that fiber to expand safely. And so. When you use it, one, you only need a little bit of it, right? And two, um, when you're using it, you it is good, of course, to soak it. Although, you know, Steve, I grind them with flaxseed because there's your synergy, flaxseed versus uh, chia seed. So I put them in a little thing, I grind it up, and then I put that into my coconut yogurt with whatever, you know, nuts and fruit or whatever I want in there. So then you're getting that wonderful balance and you don't want to just pop them right because you can't just pop chia seeds you got to put them <laughs> in a liquid <laughs> because you'll pop yeah <laughs> and I, what i do and i also use flaxseed with them 
So I put them in, then I put them in the fridge. And then once it expands, I'll put more liquid in it to, yes. get, the, to get the texture that I want. That's, exactly. That's what I do. Exactly. And you know what else is just a little side, Benny, is many people who are vegan or whatever who don't eat eggs, it's a great egg substitute because of that gelatinous nature. It's a binder for when you're baking. So that's another excellent way of using them. Yeah, I know my, my wife makes a healthy pudding out of it. So, all right, number four benefit, what is it? Ah, more omega-3s than salmon. Wow. Great way to get those omega-3s. And again, why it's so impressive in these five benefits we're talking about is because it's just, a, you just need one, you know, a couple of teaspoons, a little ounce, whatever you're doing. It's not like a huge amount to give you that concentrated benefit. Yeah, omega-3s, yeah. that is awesome. Okay, what's the fifth benefit? Fifth benefit would be... Um, uh, it includes B vitamins, which people forget that it does. You know, they're thinking the fiber, they're maybe they're thinking the protein, or they're thinking, you oh, know, that's a great little pudding. But the truth of it is, they're uh, they're a good source for B, uh, B vitamins one, two, and three. So that'd be my fifth benefit. Oh, there's lots more, but yeah, those are ones that that hit the bullet really well. Yeah, there's a ton of nutrients in there and it's just dense nutrients because like you said, you don't need that much to get get a healthy dose of. Yeah, uh, and it lowers blood sugar. Did you know that? Yeah, it's great. It lowers well, blood sugar. Yeah. So once it makes again, sense. you need to be careful, right? If, 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 that's, if you're taking blood pressure medication or, you know, I'm always teaching my clients that I remember my mother when she had to take, you know, Coumadin as a blood thinner and instead of saying how to adjust the foods that she loved and that were good for they would always say no you can't have grapefruit anymore no you can't do this anymore that doesn't make sense right put the good food in you put the chia seed in you and then maybe huh you can lower that medication so yeah that's and, and the fiber it's gonna drop that glucose. yeah yeah Was that's that part of it was that five or did you give us five? We, we hit five, but we can talk about why they're so good for energy and endurance. So, okay. So give us a bonus benefit. A um, bonus benefit. What I would say the bonus benefit would probably be it's an antiviral and people forget that. It's hmm. used uh, as a source for dealing with HPV, with herpes. If you actually, you know, use that consistently instead of say you know valtrex or lysine you'll see some it's been researched quite a bit so you just got seven you got seven for the price of five nice okay so tell me one more thing michelle and then we'll find out how to get a hold of you and all that but um so you talked a little bit about how you put this together and eat it so if you're going to Tell us what your recipe is or, or what you put in this. You, you mentioned some yogurt or something. How, how, if you personally, how do you eat chia seeds? Okay, here's my favorite way is I make chia seed crackers because I'm gluten-free generally. So all you need to do, this is like in one minute, I can tell you this recipe. Just take your chia seed, you put your water in, or you can use broth or you can use salsa, anything that's liquid, right? Stir it up till it gets gelatinous. You spread it really thinly on your, you know, paper, your parchment paper on a tray. Put it in the oven. Add your seasonings if you want. And you get these, you know, beautiful, crunchy, healthy. That's all that's in there. And they're crackers. So that wow. would be my favorite recipe. And another one, um, I guess what I would want to mention to to our audience, Steve, is that people are always asking me, do I need to do that organic? Can I get non-organic? You know, because for many people, the price point is going to make a difference on what they can afford. And my answer generally to people on that is see where it's sourced. That's going to tell you a lot. See if it's non-GMO. You know, many times people will not go that quote, organic certified route because it's very expensive for the producers also. So you just want to make sure it's coming from a healthy source in order to utilize it. Hmm. 
Okay. So Michelle, if people listening want to get a hold of you to um, get some consulting, do you have an email or what's the easiest way for them to get a hold of you? Right now, I would love to hear from everybody uh, after watching this or if they want more information or some consulting. And that would be, I'm going to spell it for you. It's H moves at comcast.net. So that's H M O V E S like healthy life moves. That's the name of my channel. H moves at comcast.net. Okay. We can put that, uh, the link in the description. Also, if you guys have questions, um, put them in the comment section and, um, uh, one last thing, Michelle, what do you do for people when they hire you? What, what kind of service? How do you, what do you do? Well, thanks for asking that because it's broadening as especially post pandemic. And also each year we all continue to be, to be alive. There are more things that we need to be proactive about. Don't you agree? Absolutely. So my list of what I'm offering now, because I have a broad base in nutrition and fitness and dance and also peptides, uh, neurotransmitters. So sometimes people just uh, hire me and, and ask, would you just go through my cupboard, Michelle, virtually and tell me what supplements here are good and what are bad? What can I get rid of? What do I really need? What's a, a vice that I have hidden? You know, so that's a fun one. But then I go all the way to if somebody's dealing with chronic illness and what can we do to uh, improve the terrain of your body permanently without making it, you know, brain surgery. Yeah. And, you know, that, that was one of my favorite things that you do. You go through the cupboards and so on and you can do that virtually. Um, and but people are like, hey, you got to get rid of the seed oil, right? You, you, you can't cook with that. That's got to go throw in the garbage can. Don't even give it to the dog. Yeah. You know, you brought up a really good point. And, and that is, uh, you know, a lot of people are constantly saying you need to add this, put this in, put this in. But, you know, we forget that really in this toxic environment that we're all living in, we better start taking things out. Yeah. You know, we need to pull the bad stuff out before we can put anything else because it won't, communicate and translate in the body properly. So totally agree with you. And I know you have a lot of experience that you and I have been doing this health and fitness stuff for 40 years. Wait, you know, our, our whole since, since we, you know, got out of our teenage years, we, that's how we've done schooling yes. and been employed is by health and wellness, fitness, all that stuff. So Michelle, thank you so much for being with us, and we will talk to you next time. Great. Thank you so much.